Now watch, watch, watch me throw it. Throw it back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Oh, no. TikTok. Hi everyone and welcome to the Plus Size, it's your girl AJ Marie. Today we are going to be testing out all the new makeup that I got in last week's Ulta haul. So let's go try this stuff on. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I already did my eyebrows. I used that brow definer that I bought last week. I wanted to get out the way because watching me do my eyebrows is like watching paint dry. We'll be here forever. They still don't match. You know, you get the idea. So I'm going to actually do my eyeshadow first and I'm going to be using this cute palette here by Sugar Pill. I'm really excited. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, if you see me looking down, the mirror is right here. So that's why I'm going to use my Born This Way Too Faced Concealer for my eyes because I really want these colors to pop. Like, so yeah. So I thought of a look. Um, overnight and I'm hoping that it works out so what I'm gonna do is use this color right here at the bottom do they have names yes okay so this name is karma so that's what I'm gonna use for my transition shade I'm just gonna put that above the crease like so that was a really pretty light peach shade I'm really feeling it and the brush that I use is this Moda Pro crease brush BMX 430 that's the brush I use I have a, another one here and I'm going to take this pretty yellow shade right here and blend it in my crease I'm really hoping this look comes out okay because and if you're interested in like fallout right here it does have a little bit of fallout in case that's something that you care about I want to let you know the details this mirror is so great for like looking like it's perfect position to like really look in your eye to see where you're putting stuff like I really love it so I'm just gonna put that in my crease right here and just give me some yellow for this look so it's looking like a sunset it's going where I want it to go so far and that yellow shade was Metro this shade right here was Metro now I really want to do this green because I think it's so pretty and I hope it comes out right <laughs> um that is the color insomniac so this color right here and I'm going to take my Moda Pro shade brush and BMX 466 I really like these brushes and I believe I got it in subscription but uh, Moda is not expensive so definitely cop these brushes if you can and I'm just gonna put that all over my crease here oh I love green I don't have any palettes with this color green in it so I'm really happy this one has it So I really like that green y'all. came out really nice. I really love it. I wish they had like a darker green color so I could put on my outer corner and kind of keep the green theme like going for like, I don't know, tropical vibes up here. But I'm going to take double shot this chocolate brown here and put it on my outside um, of my lid and deepen up the outside a little bit. Give it a little bit dimension. I stuttered a little bit, but <laughs> I love, I love so far about this palette. I really love the fact that these shadows are blending so well together. Like, they are just blending like a dream. I'm having the easiest time blending the shadows together, and I really like that. So this is all I'm going to do for the top of my eye. I'm definitely going to add it in a corner highlight and all that stuff when I move on to my next item. And I definitely want to do something to my lower lash line. Um, but I really love this palette. Like everything blended so nice. I love the pigmentation in this palette. The fallout is fine to me. 
um if you could see them these are the other colors that i didn't use that are in this palette there are a lot of pinks and i think you can definitely create a look with just these colors like a really soft pink look if you can see that they're really pretty um i was trying to use as many colors <laughs> as i could but you know only have two eyes so <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next product so next i'm going to use the it cosmetics cc plus color correcting cream um i really wanted to use this i'm really excited about using this this is just to even out my skin tone it's supposed to be a light coverage and i'm hoping that it does something for me because honey your girl is breaking out something serious right now so we'll see don't even know if this is my color it has a pump which is nice so i'm just gonna apply that to my face blend this is a morphe sponge it's the collab with jeffree star i really love uh their sponge collab it just works really nice this does have a fragrance which kind of makes me nervous because my skin's a little sensitive um but yeah let's see it smells like lemons that's what it smells like all right hold on wait a minute so the cc cream gave me more coverage than i thought it would like I definitely thought it was going to balance out my skin, but I knew it was going to be like coverage. Like, this is definitely not a full coverage type of thing. It just made my skin tone even. It covered up my little red spots I had over here. I got some acne scars over here. I got a lot going on with my fave. I got texture. Yeah. Anyway, but it looks nice. I like it. It's not irritating my skin. It feels super light on the skin. Like, this might be it. Especially when my skin looking right. And I just put a little light layer, like those four pumps I put on, worked. I can double it if you would like. I'm going to do it up here near my freckles. But yeah, it's giving me like a nice coverage. I can definitely see me throwing this on like in the morning before work as like a quick little coverage when I'm feeling like poo. Um, It definitely looks like you could layer it, but it's still like... I would say medium coverage not full but it is a CC uh, cream not a foundation but yeah it definitely covered my redness it definitely covered like dark spots like it just made everything one skin tone um, and like I said it definitely gave me more coverage than what I was expecting um, and I got a good color I got a good shade match I think you know might look different in the camera but I'm happy yes now i'm going to put on my concealer and then we're going to try the morphe setting spray i got here okay all right so i'm definitely feeling that cc cream i got my highlight on like it went really well with the highlight nothing moved nothing budged like i'm feeling it and i feel like so light it's so nice like obviously i got something on because my face don't look like this look terrible but still i love it <clears throat> I got foundation all over this bottle. The only thing about having a white bottle, look at this. Dirty. And I just use it for the first time. But if y'all don't know, I like to apply my setting spray before I go on to my bronzer and highlight and stuff. I just like having an extra layer of like protection and like setting spray makes everything look seamless. So I like to have that double spray just to make sure it looks extra skin like. So this is my first time using it. Let's see how it missed. Oh, that's nice it smells like um and then I like to pat so I'm using the Morphe sponge like I said the collab with uh, Jeffree Star I really like the myth it smells like um Juniper Breeze <laughs> from Bath and Body Works it's like my cousin's like favorite like scent I remember like growing up she always used to get like juniper breeze this is what it smells like that's what it smells like I'm feeling this I like this a lot it's really dope I love the smell I like the way my skin looks I need like two more bottles of this definitely they got like 
a regular one like a natural I guess what's the other finish if it's not matte it's not dewy it's just regular I don't know y'all tell me what the other finish is it's just regular it's not dewy but they have another one I want it so now I'm gonna finish my under eye here I really wanted to use this blue in some form or fashion. This is Sky Rise. It's so pretty. I'm definitely going to have to do another look and use it on my lid. Because it's just sparkly and pretty and nice. And I just want to use that. So I'm going to put that underneath. Oh, she's pigmented, honey. I am making a mess. So as you saw me applying the blue, you saw I was getting a little low. It was getting a little out of hand. I just took some concealer and tried to, you know, tame it a little bit. Like, I think I got enough blue. Like, I really love this color. It's the most pigmented color out that whole palette. You can get a little out of control with it. But I think I wrapped it up a little bit. Once I put my mascara on, it should all come together. But yeah, I was going a little crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to put some bronzer on my face I love bronzer this is the pointed blush brush by crown it is the BMX 130 I'm just gonna apply my bronzer I don't really do contour um, and then I'm going to get into the highlighting palette which I'm really excited about I'm gonna move on to the highlighting palette I am really happy to use this cuz it's just bomb so I'm going to use the middle shade first. This is the soft focus. Ooh. And this is like a brightening powder for under your eyes. So I'm going to do that. And I heard this is supposed to give you a very nice blurred soft focus <laughs> under your eye. I don't know how pigmented it is. And it's supposed to give you a brightening effect. I love the smell. It's like light, vanilla y. I don't want to do too much here. I already done messed up my concealer. <laughs> I love the smell of this powder. Oh, that looks smooth, y'all. That looks smooth. That looks nice. A nice little highlight. I put it up here. I'm gonna put it up here. Just where I put uh I'm gonna put it where I put my concealer at. I like that. Nice light. It did smooth things out here. I like it. So I like that. That really did smooth out under my eye, brightened it a little bit. Like I liked it. It's definitely fall out in this palette, by the way definitely fall out so now I'm going to use the glow one right here and just use that for my highlight on my cheek up here on my highest point of my cheek now this is just like a very like subtle glow on the face So I really like the glow. It's like a really soft like highlight. It kind of reminds me of like when the sun naturally hits your face. Like it's really pretty, really subtle bomb. So now I'm going to use the Dazzle one using the same brush. This is from Wet n Wild. It's from their holiday collection. They don't have names for their brushes but I love it for highlight. So I'm going to use Dazzle and see what that looks like on top of that. A uh, glow. Let me use this mirror. So this is definitely um, more glitterly, glitterly. <laughs> so this is definitely more glittery. Um, I definitely see the more sparkly, chunky pieces of glitter. I really like this on top of the glow this is the dazzle that I'm putting on now I really like it on top of the glow because it just adds more like sparkle and shine to it I'm feeling it like but I still feel like natural I still feel like 
not natural of course but like I still feel like a nice subtle glow you know what I mean I like it y'all I like it y'all this is a good purchase goodbye runaway top as usual so I'm gonna spray one more time before applying my mascara and doing the finishing touches on my eye I don't like to do it after mascara because I tend to mark my under eye with mascara I don't know if y'all do it but I do it all the time so one more spray love this <laughs> love this mist I'm gonna take my sponge that I used for my foundation and just really press that setting spray in just to make everything melt together give me that skin like finish all right so I'm done using all the new products that I got I really am happy with everything I purchased I don't feel like I have to return anything so I'm just gonna finish up my eye so I'm gonna use the Ulta Beauty gel liner in black and just put that in my waterline give it some definition here this liner I really like because it does not um, come off. My eyes get super watery for some reason when I um, apply liner. And this just stays on for me. So And now I'm going to use the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. Just to give me that extra drama and volume to my eyes I really love this mascara it just makes my eyelashes pop it's super nice and last but not least I'm going to put my over highlight in my inner corner I wanted something a little blingy in the inner corner here just right in the corner And a little bit under the brow. Ooh. I'll go overboard. Oh well. So I'm really happy the way my eye look turned out. Like that highlight, the mascara definitely brought everything together. So now I'm gonna do my current favorite lip combination, and that is Wet n Wild's lipstick in Barely Legal. It's a new color, and this new gloss that I got in my Boxy Charm box that I'm about to drop. And it is Peak Sequence, and it is by the company Vintage, just to tie everything together. I wanted to do something simple because this eye look was not simple. Alright, so I am all done. Got a little hair situation going on. Feeling real cute just to go to the living room, okay? I'm so happy with everything that I purchased. Love the way the shadows work. Really love the subtle touch of the highlighting palette. I'm definitely going to be using this more often. I really like the setting spray. Like, I gotta get more of the setting spray. So I'm really happy with everything. And I'm happy because I paid a lot of money for it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what new makeup that you are using that I should try. And thank you again for watching. I love you guys. See you next week. Peace.